Hello everybody. Happy May 3rd Beltane and in the Andes it is the day of the Southern Cross when people spend all night uh, contemplating and meditating under the Southern Cross constellation of stars to receive blessings and inspiration for the year. I am uh, invited into this uh, uh, group effort towards unity by my friend Elizabeth Salguero and uh, we are located in Bolivia where we run uh, shamanic retreats both in the Andes and the Amazon and also meditation retreats. We work with very different traditions, the Amazonian, the Andean, uh, Sikh devotional meditation and Dzogchen Tibetan meditation, Native North American Sun Moon Dance. So what I would like to do is uh, share some of uh, my reflections with you about the time that we are going through. Uh, behind us, there is a beautiful painting by a Bolivian painter, which is the Archangel Michael, and it's called the Archangel of the Four Plagues, which actually he painted quite a while ago, and which happens to be at the place where I am currently being quarantined. Uh, and it seemed most appropriate that I would record this here with the uh, this archangel behind us. Because I think it is plainly obvious to all of us that we are going through very unusual times, that the hand of God is moving, that something very special is happening, that uh, we are, that spirit is intervening and interrupting the mundane lives that we were living, the current, you know, the daily affairs that we, and daily routines that we were used to. So this is very special time. It's special time because something very good is happening, something very good is coming. However, of course, it is very painful time and we mourn for all the losses that we're having and all the people that are suffering. But all those of us who are quarantined and healthy we have to really count it as a blessing because the quarantine we should not resent but actually take as an opportunity because I think this uh, uh, is called a, you know, a, a, a group motivation towards unity. But really unity is not only uh, singing songs to each other which is wonderful and pointing out uh, at all the positive things we can do as a community, you know, planting gardens, uh, looking out for one another, changing our economic and political systems, all of that needs to be done. But truly, unity has to first happen within ourselves. That is, that we have to integrate our consciousness into one, rather than being distracted by all the things that we chase in life, all our temptations, all our desires, all our hatreds, all our fears, all our jealousies, all our prides, uh, all our hatreds, all of those things uh, which keep us uncentered, uncollected, distracted, and tied to the chain of suffering, which has produced really the system that now has produced this pandemic. There is a whole system out there that is completely out of balance and we are part of that being out of balance. So if anything is gonna change, really it has to change starting with us. And so we have to do, we are given right now this precious opportunity to sit down, be quiet and really pay attention. Surrender to the mystery that is deep inside of ourselves. There's something within us that no matter how bad we have been and how bad life has been to us, remains perfect, divine, sacred. Remains that which we are actually looking for whenever we go out looking for pleasure, prestige, money, or power. We are in fact looking for this thing which is, has been waiting for us inside of ourselves, accessible to us anytime, any place, all the time, in all places. So now we should, and it behooves us, to sit down, be quiet, close our eyes, pray with all our heart, really for us to connect because we are not alone and all the forces of the cosmos are conspiring to help us in this transition. 
so that we may elevate our consciousness, so that we may become one, one with ourselves, one with the Supreme Source, and one with each other. So I'm gonna ask that you uh, join me, if you wish, on this very simple meditation, which I believe really gets to the crux of it. In this simple meditation, we just close our eyes, inhale and exhale three times with a straight back and a straight neck. And we look for that place inside of ourselves where we, if we have ever prayed with all our heart at some point in our lives, that is the place and that is the sensation that we're looking for. So we connect with that sensation and we do that. We pray with all our hearts for that which you long, your heart felt longing at the deepest, deepest part of yourself. You pray with all your heart, but only for a few minutes, because more importantly, after we pause, we put our mind and our language in pause, but we remain focused on that place and on that sensation. And we allow that place and that sensation to take a life of its own. Because truly, it is a life inside of ourselves. The us that we're trying to become is already perfect inside of us. The us that is one with the divine, sacred, wonderful, magical, mysterious, is already inside of us. So if we can just observe and allow and observe and allow and let it flow and sit in that silence and let it flow and observe and allow and welcome it with all your heart, with a loving, loving, welcoming gratitude and just observe and allow and let it transform you and let it touch you and let it move you and remain like that for as long as you possibly can. And when the mind starts getting you distracted or when you feel like it, there is a sacred word that you can use to actually help to awaken that divine presence in case you don't feel it moving inside of you and which also helps to quiet the mind. It is a special transmission. It's a sacred word which was transmitted to me by a true saint in the Sikh tradition where the first guru, the first thing upon enlightenment that he said is there's only one God and we are all children of the same God. So there is no right religion. There is no wrong religion. We are all brothers and sisters connected to the same supreme source. And so this word is really a precious transmission because if vibration, in order to reach that perfect state which we truly are and have always meant to be, is a change in our vibration, then sound is vibration. And this sound will help us to change the vibration from one of low consciousness where we currently abide to the higher consciousness where we need to reach so we can, in fact, at some point merge with the divine. And that sacred word is Wahe Guru. And so we can repeat it for a prolonged time, but always maintaining our attention on the center of ourselves and whatever flows from there, just observing and allowing. And so we go Wahe Guru, 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 Wahe Guru. Wahiguru, 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 Wahiru, 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 Wahiguru. And then we remain in silence, like winding a toy that used to be wound or a clock. We have just created this vibration and energy within us, which is not just mechanical, but truly alive. And so we sit in silence and we appreciate it and we feel it moving inside of us and we welcome it truly with feeling, 
with devotion, with love, surrender, and devotion. And we let it transform us, touch us, move us. And so we remain in silence for as long as we can in this way, and then we conclude the meditation. It is a meditation that should really be done with all our hearts and fully focused with all our intention and with very much feeling. The feeling is very, very important. We must really concentrate and feel it very strongly uh, with an intensity of feeling because this is the path of love. This is the path of love that binds all creation and makes it all one. One with the source, one with each other, one with nature, one with all that is. And so I wish you all a productive use of this meditation every day for as long as you can, hopefully twice a day, 40 minutes in the morning, 40 in the evening, or even more. And trying to remember this presence and like any relationship, at first it will be maybe timid, shy, not so tangible. But really, if you give it the benefit of the doubt and you commit to practicing it for the time that we are in quarantine and hopefully ideally all the days of your life, but maybe you can commit initially to a month, doing it every day is the only way to find out what the fruit of this meditation will be. But if you feel cold and you choose to do it, you will undoubtedly feel the presence, the divine presence, the magical self that you truly are and that lies deep within you, beginning to take a hold of you, becoming more tangible, like a relationship of two lovers that at first are shy to touch each other's hands, but then slowly the relationship builds, the trust builds, the comfort builds, and the passion builds to such a degree that it becomes this all-consuming fire that burns all the impurities and becomes pure bliss. So in that way, I wish that all of you can enjoy this meditation and reap the fruits of it and really endeavor to go deep into the silence and the stillness and discover really who you're meant to be and allow your true gifts to flower so that you may be one of the new generation for the new earth and the new heaven. We did experience here a prophetic uh, revelation regarding the condor and the eagle prophecy saying that the, this energy of the Messiah that everybody is waiting for, which in the Andes is called the Pachacuti, the meeting of the condor and the, and, and the eagle, is already here, that energy is already here. All we need to do is connect with it, surrender to it, and lovingly accept it, and learn to listen to it, to surrender our old selves and exchange them for these new selves. What better bargain than to surrender the self that suffers and is a miserable and such a reduced version of what we can be for the glorious manifestation of our destiny, that which we were always meant to be. So all my blessings to all of you. Happy May 3rd, happy day of love. May love touch us deeply and set us free. Love you all. Why did you kakalsa? Why did you kifate? Come to visit us in Bolivia whenever you wish. Sacharuna.com. Love you all. Bye bye.